What up my dogs? Welcome back to another Top Clash Royale ladder pushing video. Today I want to talk about why I don't use TikTok. Because I actually used Vine back in the day. I know, it's an old app, but I enjoyed watching NFL people getting tackled to the ground and cool, I don't know, goals and I don't know what people made back then. I can't know. People, it was actually funny. I, I, I used Vine back then because it was funny. People made funny videos. And also because of the, like, I don't know, NFL highlights of people getting absolutely slaughtered. It was fun to watch. Please, Skeleton King. And so now TikTok is the updated version of that. And I have the app on my phone, but I never use it. I cannot use it. And not because I just, like, I can't, well, actually, it's true that I can't stand it. But I am so afraid of TikTok. It is so dangerous to your mind. And I know like a lot of things are dangerous to your mind, like porn and stuff. But with TikTok, I am so scared of my attention span just getting absolutely deleted, first of all. The second thing is it's so it's so it's such mindless entertainment. When I'm using the TikTok app, or if I log on to the TikTok app, 30 minutes can just disappear. And I'm not even thinking with a single brain cell. I'm literally a, like a mindless slave when I'm using that app. It's actually crazy. I'm just sitting there watching it and then 30 minutes will go by and I haven't thought a single thought. I haven't done anything. And like, I like to think about things and if, if TikTok, I don't know, it's just scary. And like, I'm so worried that I'm not gonna be able to watch movies in a, again and appreciate th like movies and YouTube videos, I'm so scared of that, that it's screwing up my mind like that. And also, it just sets like an unrealistic expectation of what society is like. Like you just see all these girls like twerking and basically half naked doing all these things and these TikTok fuck boys that just look so, I don't know. I'm just, I just don't vibe with the whole culture of TikTok. The funny videos are funny. I remember when I first used TikTok, the first day I actually properly gave it a chance. I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen because I just watched some, a bunch of videos in a different way I'd ever seen before. It was like short, funny, and that's what I like about TikTok. It's fun in that way, but I feel like the negatives way outweigh the positives. It is just so scary how it can ruin your mind and your dopamine requirements. I can feel it happening to me. It's not even something that I'm like paranoid about. I can just feel it happening when I'm watching the app. It's so bad. By the way, I am absolutely a Lava Hound god right now. Maybe I can get a three crown even here. Come on, please. Lava Hound isn't even popped yet. He's given up. That's going to be a three crown, baby. Easy claps for the first game of this video. That's probably another reason why I've stayed away from making shorts and TikToks enti entirely for my own content. Because it's just... A, it feels very meaningless and mindless to me. And it doesn't provide me any value. But... I just want to stay away from that whole culture because I feel like if I'm making TikToks, I want to learn about TikTok and shorts and see what works and see why it works. And that requires a lot of watching TikTok. Actually, you know what? I might just go with a flying machine here. Probably a dangerous move because if I went Skeleton King, I probably wouldn't have taken much damage at all. But the flying machine's going to take it out without losing my tower. And I'm going to go with a... Okay, well, I'm going to go with the Skelly Drags. Oh, he's going to go with that. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go with a Miner in the back. And so, yeah, I feel like it's very hard to create meaningful content on TikTok because people scroll by it so fast. You know, like you're watching a TikTok and you give it about one second. And if you're mildly interested, you can just swipe. But with, with actual videos, like people could actually... I feel like... I just think that one minute is such a small amount of time to actually get something meaningful out of a video and it's hard to get like attached and I, I i was gonna say i didn't really grow up with it but i guess i did i grew up with vine and so i kind of i am familiar with that type of content and there was probably something before vine but yeah i just think that he's got hog as well okay well i'm gonna go skeleton king here that's gonna get all the souls from the skeletons then hopefully i can get a split lane counter push even though the tower is gonna die here come on kill that i'm gonna go with this for the eye drag and I might go minor in the other lane. We'll see. Now I'm actually going to go minor same lane. And hopefully I can get some damage. What is the Phoenix doing? Oh, I should have gone arrows first. Okay, bats are still going to do a pretty good job, but mine is going to go down. Also, another thing with shorts and TikTok is that it doesn't really make much money at all. And from what I've seen, the reputation of the top TikTokers on the platform 
I don't see many TikTokers that people really love or TikTokers that are really well respected. Sure, you can get a... And this is the weird thing. I feel like TikTok is very much associated with um, Instagram. I feel like those apps are very similar in some ways. And I don't vibe with Instagram either. I just don't really use Instagram. It's just not an app I'm very much interested in. And I feel like the TikTokers like Addison Ray, Charlie D'Amelio, the top TikTokers... I, I just think... I'm, I don't really like... I don't see how people could look up to people like that. The whole, the whole thing just, it irks me a little bit. I think the people at the top of the platform speak volumes at representing what the rest of the, the platform is about. Okay, he's got wall breakers. Just gonna go fly machine that should take out both. Like I say, with Addison Ray being the top of TikTok, it's just like hot girls dancing around for, for, you know, views and likes. It's not because she has an amazing personality where he's PewDiePie. People actually love PewDiePie because of his personality and he's funny and he's consistent. Sure, you can be like, Addison Rae is consistent. She does TikTok dances and therefore gets a lot of views because she does it consistently. I don't know. I've seen about a few TikTokers I like. Like there's this John, uh, what's the, the gym guy called? Something Swole. And he basically calls out girls at the gym that are like calling out guys at the gym for being creepy where they're really just trying to help them out and they try and bait guys into helping them out. And so he's cool and he, he actually spreads a good message. But for the most part, I really don't vibe with them. Okay, how am I going to defend this, by the way? I'm going to go Skeleton King to kill the Musketeer, but also splash, hopefully, some of these skeletons as they spawn in. Ooh, why would he go opposite lane there? You know what? I'm going to wait for the second one to spawn out, and then boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's pretty much my rant on TikTok. I think it is a... I see more negatives than positives. What are the positives I can get out of using TikTok? Literally, I, I can't even think of one. It ruins my attention span. It's just, it promotes a culture I'm not a vibe with. And I don't vibe with, but sure, like there are some parts of TikTok that they're not all like this. They're not all horrible. Okay, he's gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with a miner in the back. Hopefully I can get some damage here. Oh, I just activated King. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, come on, make it not matter. Make it not matter. Phoenix respawn. Okay, let's go champ. All right, maybe we might be able to come back here now. Okay, that is getting way too much damage. Okay, now what am I going to do about this? Maybe if I go Lava Hound in the base. Because I'm, I'm not really going to be able to get another push. Lava Hound in the base. Pop the ability. And then... That's perfect, because the ability is made sure the wall breakers die. Go with Miner. Go with Arrows, so the Musketeer dies. Okay, it's all about getting a positive trade here, so that I can get a proper push later but make him waste his elixir so i actually have a chance all right now i need to kill that somehow okay here we go what's he gonna do okay so he's gonna go with that i don't trust that so i'm gonna go with this no oh my god that got way too much damage okay that's game anyway guys thanks for watching just a little rant about my tiktok hate i'll never use the app i doubt i'll even post tiktoks i have thought about it for a while but yeah i just don't vibe with it Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.